Hey guys, this is Anson from Chatperson, and today we are playing a game of Two of Tanks. So I guess this is gonna be my, the first video in uh, the first video of Two of Tanks if I do choose to post this. And if you are watching this, that uh, that would be a yes. So yeah. I'm not exactly a pro in this and I don't really have like tier 10 vehicles and or somewhat good vehicles. However, I'm just going to film myself playing this game. Um, right now I'm playing in the tier 5 Soviet tank destroyer, the SU-85. Now this is only my second game with it because I had I have just gotten it. And man, was it a pain to play the SU-85B. I mean, it could just be my playing style, or it could be the, the armor on that thing ensures that every round penetrates it. Now, I'm not saying that tank destroyers should be able to like block every single shot that comes at it, but I mean, it should be... Its armor should at least be decent. So on, as you can see on the map right now, most of the fight is taking place on the right side of the map where all the heavy tanks are. And then I'm just going for my teammate here within the T29. Now this is going to be a hard game to play considering that we are almost bottom tier. Um, excluding the loot just... Oh and he just got a kill. Yeah, I'm just going to throw this baby tank. So the game is right now neck, neck and neck. And I guess me and my teammates here will be flanking around, hoping to catch some people off guard. Now, if you would like more information about the SU-85, well, you can check out Quickie Baby's um, video on it. Well, he gave me a video on it, but if you would like to check out tank reviews from an actual professional World of Tanks player, then you should check out Quickie Baby, because he has 300,000 uh, or more subscribers, and I'm subscribed to him too on my personal channel. And his videos are of high quality, and they are also very inform informative. So if you would like to check out um, replays of very good plays and also um, tank reviews, check out his channel. And I think I'll, yeah, I will link it at the bottom of the description. Okay, we have made it to the enemy's base and um well we are not here anymore. So I guess I'll just chase them from behind hoping we'll catch them from the back. And maybe get some of the well shoot some of their backs. Hopefully. Damn, it's really difficult to try to get armor when, when we are like bottom tier. I mean, the Lucha still alive, so we're technically not bottom tier. Enemy 
Okay, I got one shot on him. And he's down. Okay. I got his turn. You check him. Ah. Uh. Damn. Okay. Oh no, okay, maybe. Just fuck it And yeah, of course, I'm getting shot from everywhere. There's no point repairing myself now, because I mean, there's no point trying anymore. Yeah. Nope, oh, okay, that's like our first game. If the if the video is very choppy right now, I'm sorry, cause um I don't have the best computer in the world, and neither do I have the best mic. So if my if my voice is like very muffled and also very unclear, um, well I may remove the audio and just put music. If not, then yeah, you'll be hearing my voice as of now. So, okay, the next map we are playing is El Halof. And this time we are mid tier. The top tier is 6, the bottom tier is 4. But there's only 2 tier 4 tanks on our team. And on the other team as well. So apparently XVM mod tells us that we have a 48% chance to win. Uh, let's hope we can actually win it. So while we're driving to engage the enemy, I would like to talk about a little bit about our channel. So our channel is a it's a cooperation between three people, including me. So two of my other friends. However. Um, one of my other friend only plays Clash Royale, uh, and while the other plays Clash Royale and Minecraft, and I'm the guy who plays all three of those games, and I'm also um, one of the most active on our channels because I'm constantly uploading videos uh, throughout the day. However, I would like to. Sh um, I would like to stress that the reason why our views aren't really at the at like the at the top of their quality is we are we are not really um, free all the time because we are still in school. Yes, so I mean I, I think you probably can tell by our voices already that we are pro we are not adults yet. So. The, we created this channel is just that it's, you could say it's for fun, which that we will we just would like to upload um, footage for the public, and I mean it doesn't have to be really helpful. It's just meant for entertainment, and entertainment for us and entertainment for the viewers. And I mean there won't be many people watching this video right now. But for those that are actually watching, I thank you a lot for actually sticking with me until this point of the video. Okay, but now we are actually get engaging in combat. Okay, let's check. Okay, I'm falling back. I'm gonna let our Churchill tank in front of us. And our artillery is doing a good job of covering us. So we are going to pick the KV-1. Okay, 
Okay, so the Chuchu gets tracked. Okay. So right now I'm very afraid of the Chuchu. Like, the enemy's Chuchu. So I'm gonna try to side scrape. Okay. Okay, that that was Yeah, that's the artillery. Okay. So since our SU85 will be in battle um I'm not since it's like you know the hundredth year of tanks celebration. Let's go play the armored car. More specifically, the Lanchester armor car. Mm. Well, for those of you who don't know about the Lanchester armor car, is uh, the Lanchester armor car was available in. It's only available during this period of time, where during the hundred year celebration, and it only plays a uh, one mission type called convoy, in which you have to. You have. To to escort or prevent the other team from destroying slash escorting their Mark 1 which is a very big, very big tank that I can show you right now uh, from going to your base so if you're on the attacking team you have to bring the Mark you have to escort the Mark 1 to the op opponent's team uh, the opponent's base and if you are the defending Team, then you basically um, okay. You basically prevent the other team from doing that. And the Lanchester armor car is a very agile car because it's just a car; it's not a tank. And he has a top speed of 82 kilometers per hour. And look, it can make jumps like this. And he has a 0 0.332 caliber gun, if I'm not wrong. In this game mode, there are power-ups, for example, the higher caliber gun and the machine gun. Oh, okay, I just got taken out. So as you can see, our, since we're on the defending team, on our mini-map below, you'll see a bomb, a small bomb sign, if you can see it. And that is basically where the bomb is, or it's showing where the person holding the bomb is. And what that person has to do is bring that bomb to the Mark 1 to to destroy the Mark 1's track so that it will stop progressing and as you see I just tried to take a shot at the Mark 1 but you cannot you cannot hurt the Mark 1 unless you use the bomb as you can see the bomb is right here so I'll just take it and I'll bring it to the Mark 1 and okay I hit the Mark 1 a bit too hard and I died but as you can see the, the bomb does 400 damage every time and it stops the Mark 1 from progressing uh, even further and as you can see now there's that repair sign and the enemy team has to pick that up and bring it to the Mark 1 to repair its tracks so that it can progress to uh, progress to our base okay um, I can't even feel that so our objective now is to stop him from doing that uh, but he barely does it with 4% of his health left. I'm just gonna take him out, because why the hell not. Okay, let me just... There you go. And uh, the green thing that... Uh, the yellow thing that... Uh, that opponent just picked up is... The... Power up. And yeah, he picked up the high caliber power up, so he just took me out in one shot. So now, as you can see the timer, and uh, Mark 1 is about to stop because of the bomb. Let me just pick up this. Okay, see, it's uh, now I have the major caliber. And this, this gun kit basically 
one shot every people. There you go. Ah, don't hit each other. Ah. Okay, it takes forever to reload. And you only have three bullets with this gun. Before you have to revert back to the origin one. And right now I got the bomb and I oh no I got track I got track I mean um I got wheel because I I'm, I'm a car not a truck uh, not a tank. Um, well, the mark one is already more than two thirds the way here, but it's not even like halfway halfway down itself. The enemy team is doing a very really good job defending that bomb. I'll give them that. Okay. Um, okay. yeah, the mark one is dangerous because the obvious right now. Oh, please did it. Okay, okay. okay. Please did it. The bomb. You can. There are two ways in winning the game as a defending team. You can either choose to destroy the mark one totally, or you can wait until time runs out by constantly checking in. As you can see, there's the machine gun. It basically just um, decreases your reloading time by a lot. Okay. Uh, we're probably gonna lose this game unless we are able to get two more bombs at the Mark One. So basically, like destroying the Mark One right after it just got that. And also, the Mark One damages you when you go close to it. That's that for the team. That was kind of a kamikaze. Mm. Ooh, the fun part of this game is the pace of it. It's very fast. So if you felt that you are sick of playing like the world, um, the normal World of Tanks game mode, the random battle, and it is feeling very slow, you can play this game for a few rounds before going back. To experience like a fast paced game. And as you can see our base was captured because the Mark 1 has reached our base. And yes. However I got the second most number of kills in this game. So let's see what we get. So when you lose a game in this game mode, you get 750 free experience which goes to the car of course and you get badges like Bomberman when you blow off the track of the Mark 1 using a bomb and you also get others with that one. so if I can find it right here Yeah, yeah. So you can get few repairs when you bring the repair kit to the Mark 1. And the bomber man that I just showed you. You can also get base protector is when you win a battle. As the or as the defending team and honor guard when you win a battle by being uh, on the offensive team. So I think I'll end the video here. So basically, today you have seen me play the SU-85 for one game. Yes, the SU-85 for one game. And then you saw me playing the Lanchester Armour Car for one game as well. Oh wait, I, I mean... You saw me play the SUA5 for 
Yeah, I think it's one or two games, sorry. Because <laughs> I played one game before recording, I guess. So I'm a bit, um, I'm, I'm a bit unsure. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but whatever. You just saw me, you, uh, you saw me play a game of the SEA5 and another of the Lanchester Armour Cup. And, well, I hope that you and you will enjoy Wolf Tank's content. Because uh, we on our channel we would like a variety of videos, and as I said, and I want to reiterate this is that I am not a pro gamer, and I do not intend to, I do not intend for people to see me that way. So based all these videos are for entertainment only, and not to actually teach people how to play War of Tanks well. If you would like to see that, then. Um, I will link Quickie Baby's channel in the description below, and um, uh, yeah. After that, well, I'll just then I'll just end it right here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.